beans for dinner. When Deborah Barley and her husband traded Metro Vancouver for the Kootenai, she was okay to leave behind a lot of things, but not her doctor. Well, I kept my doctor in Maple Ridge, so, um, you know, we do things via phone calls. The doctor is 700 kilometers away. You get into your 60s, you need to see a doctor at least once a year. You know, your physicals, I'm, I'm relatively healthy, but I do have some problems. Rick Merrill's doctor is in White Rock. Before he moved, the 71-year-old took some precautionary steps. Knowing that I was going to come to the Kootenays, I wanted to get a lot of um, testing done that would, I would probably get in the next five years anyway. Given the shortage of family doctors, those who have them aren't about to readily give them up. Hi, Marie. How are you today? Dr. Carlin Mann has 20 patients who live in the Fraser Valley on Vancouver Island and in the interior, nowhere near his Burnaby practice. Uh, most of them started off living here and then they moved away, um, but they weren't able to find, find a family doctor to, uh, to where they moved to. It's estimated 1 million British Columbians don't have a doctor. I understand how people are moving and, and trying to retain their family doctor, but this is the issue of feasibility is that we need to be pro providing access to family doctors across the province. The long distance model may work for preventative care, but in the event of serious yeah. illness or injury, it could fail. The College of Physicians and Surgeons has a rule that if you are going to uh, see a patient from afar, they have to be able to make it to see you in the clinic if it's necessary. Uh, so I, that's what I always tell my patient, that as long as they're able to fulfill that aspect of our uh, physician-patient relationship, then I will still be your doctor. What's practical is a choice. If it was se severe, uh, then I would definitely have to go out there. I try to kill two birds with one stone with other appointments, but uh, so I'm, I'm juggling some of my medical needs um, to accommodate the price of gas, put it that way. With access to family doctors becoming increasingly difficult, many say long distance is the only alternative. Bell Perry, CBC News, Vancouver.